us at his home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, no! Fuck. The hell possessed me to get in. Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery. And other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. Yeah, buddy, you can't correct murder. Spelling mistakes you can correct, but murder is murder. You can make amends to the families. You can lead others away from the path of darkness. Spare. Hey. What do you want from me? Stay with me for the day. And I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. Just till the end of the day. Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong, I'm out. No one will force you to stay. We're almost Vasquez, keep an eye on them. I'm gonna stay in the car. Keep it short. We're on a tight schedule. What are you doing here? Zuleika? You're... late. I... found a companion. Someone from the stu Do you remember what... V. Meet Zuleika. Wouldn't mind knowing what's going on here. Anyone? You haven't told him anything? <laughs> we just met. You really... Mama isn't back yet. Hurry up. Yo, 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 my tuber, shroomers, and tubers. Mr. Whitey here. Drop that milk toast kibble and rush to the nearest store for a mm. taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Because life is too short. Please, sit down. Uh, I'm okay. Can I offer you anything? A drink? I'm good. Thanks. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were you- You mean to say you let the man who killed your brother off the hook? Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive. And you will be forgiven. Whether it finds enemies or neighbors, God's love knows no bounds on earth, and neither should ours. Hey. Why are we here, and who are we waiting for? Tell me, V. Do you believe in God? Oh, come on, buddy. Why are we even talking about this? Zuleika and I have a... Uh... A running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no! I never agreed to anything like this! Religious debates. Not my thing. There's nothing to debate. 
Those BD Studio hyenas convinced Joshua to trade one execution for another, his own crucifixion. He wants everyone to experience his agony, feel his pain and suffering. This is insanity, pure and simple. It's the one thing worse than insanity. Blasphemy. Zuleika transformed me into a child ah. of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence. In a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of his divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices and murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you. V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Uh, mother's home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, no! Just go, please. Out, all of you! <laughs> we should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay, just go. You took my Reuben from me. My child. My son. Let's go back to the car. <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? Of course he's not gonna forgive you. Ah. <sighs> Oh man. Just wish I could have talked to Gloria and explained everything. Oh, somehow explained I what? <laughs> I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. I it's time daughter. to grab a bite to eat. Well, who can blame her? It's not easy to forgive your son's murderer. Stevenson, we all knew how that would end. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. <sighs> Really ain't to spin a virtue of your crucifixion. Ugh, yes, really. You'll be kicking up a shitstorm. Hater's gonna hate. It is something I must do. For if this won't shake the world to its core and wake us from our collective nightmare, then nothing will. Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Wait up a sec, I want to talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? He's got some organic chips loose. Need psychiatric help. Hmm. My thoughts exactly, but it's too late for that. <laughs> if he's as crazy as you say, 
Why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. Huh. Sounds like the perfect BD actor. Mm-hmm. And one incapable of fucking up in any way. Hmm. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. <laughs> Not bad for a petty mark off the streets. I've grown curious how this will all end. In pain and profit, that's how. One's sacred, the other's insane. Though who knows if they aren't congruous concepts. But yeah, I'm curious too. And I've been surprised before. Your ass is going down. Nobody's paying you to open your mouth, Vasquez. <laughs> Got a tough customer with that Vasquez. Even for a badge. He is set in his ways. Like so many men. Vasquez. He blew inside and out. Might as well have been born with a badge. Must have some solid dirt on him, then. And the studio majority stakeholder's a corp. Unlike you, Vasquez would clearly mind having enemies in high places. Try ours today. This brain dance. I'm curious. Tell me more. Title's the passion. We're speaking to the LCD, of course. And it's gonna revolutionize BD. How so? Well, Stevenson's furlough is only so long. We can only scroll the last bit with him. But we'll fill in the run-up to the finale with BD doubles and Nemo Bank assets. It'll feel like Stevenson, though. How's that even possible? Give me a break. We're part of EBM. Infinite investment in tech. Couple of years and we won't be using actors anymore. My dream of the day. So why Josh? Sounds like you don't even need him now. The son of man's agony. You can't weave it strictly out of digital threads just yet. <laughs> and you, get any say in all this? He forced the writers to go with the Christian gospel according to Luke. It originally opted for John. Guess that's uh, important for... John's version is crude and over the top. The gospel of Luke speaks more to my sensibility. Besides, Luke's Christ is prepared for what awaits him. I want the world to understand that. Feel it. So what does he want to convey exactly? That Christ was merciful and continues to die for the world's sins. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Relax, Rachel. Yes, why, I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to unwind? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. Great to have an outlet. Something to give you peace of mind. <laughs> True peace of mind can only come through the spirit of divine ah. peace. Know what your problem is, all of you? <laughs> you refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? Yep. The Crystal Palace. Feel alive in the dead of 
space. Ugh, all this talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a media producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. But, Rachel. No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you, get lost. I'll get your fee soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Props. Really well played, Dad. What do you make of it all? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen. But it's still corporate exploitation. <laughs> Your cynicism is starting to wear thin on me. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? Corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Rebel Johnny? You seem to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real rebel. Make up your mind, which is it? Nut job or Messiah? He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head, and you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. Guess if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. <laughs> what do you think? God exists? Fuck, kill me, please. <laughs> Come on, serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. Gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psyche. Possible consequences thereof. Really? I mean, are you already dead? Or alive till the last existing digi-ghost of you is shredded? Meaning like, am I gonna ascend to digi-heaven? <laughs> ascend to digi-hell's more likely. But yeah, there is life after death. Is Silverhand already living the afterlife? And I'm talking to his animated epitaph? I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise. To me, I'm just that. Me. No netherworld, no happy wonder world. Just duped digital psychics. Weird as fuck today. Just kind of unreal. But reality beckons. Come on, we got places to trash. Target! Through! Follow your instincts! Last year, the city council of Night City. Alright. Well, that was a lot to take in. NCPD stuff. Yeah, there is this, right? Let's go do that. Uh, double barrel shotgun. Whoa! 
I'm liking Sunder Vistan actually. Alright, let's do that. The beast in me, Santo Diego, Domingo. Right? Uh, let's go here. Ooh, I got some hull points. So, recharge would be nice. And let's get the main one first, right? Then we'll th think about the extra one, basically. Right? Yeah, we'll get all that for sure like this one spontaneous yeah i think we need to get the main one first right ha -ha. Claire. V. ready for the next race yep already here ready and waiting you want to use your own ride or am i bringing beast Beast, beast. Beast. It's time to unleash her. Can't keep a spit-shined animal like that caged up in your garage. Well said. Meet there, yeah. Rancho. Be right there. See you then. Let's go. I'm gonna take a look under the hood before we start and see if all's okay. But stay close, just in case. Our chances, how do you see him? Well, it's gonna be tough to beat out Luigi. And he's got Margo riding Gunner today. Right, so... Girl loves popping flats, but don't get hung up on it. You forget something? Back to our chat. You feeling all right? Girl loves popping flats, but just focus on the route. Let me handle the entertainment. Sorry, you need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure. Sorry, buddy.
All units in the area, order has been restored. All units instructed to return Watch our to patrol. Back. They're moving to pass. Dare him to try. Whoa. Attempt. Try. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Open fire. Done. Congratulations to V and Claire. First place, V. Oh my fucking god, we won! We're finals bound. Yeah! Hell yeah! Don't stop yet, okay? Move up a bit further. What for? I need to talk. Something you should know. Okay. Sit down for a spell over there, okay? like to come here wanted to tell me something I mentioned Dean before my husband yeah wheel to your heat right sweetest man I ever knew we were friends before my gender transition we brought daffodils to the hospital it's a new beginnings he said were you married long? Twelve years. Dean used to laugh that for our 15th, said he'd finally talk me into my first implant. I was prepping some surprise. Hey, you mind if I ask why you don't sport any chrome? I love machines, V, I do. But I don't ever want to become one. Isn't that weird? A little, I guess. But it's fine. Dean, only person who could have convinced me to chrome up. But guess we'll never know if he'd have managed, huh? Why tell me about Dean? Meaning, why now? He died during a race last year. The final. Not your standard fatality, though. This have something to do with our race? Sort of. Thing is, Dean was murdered. He was flatlined mm. by a Corpo Eagle Weasel, Peter Sampson. Exceptional walking rot. Your husband. How'd he die exactly? We'd just powered into the final straight, Sampson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. Was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to. He lost control. Yeah, but isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. 
He would have won. It was premeditated. What's the Corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter. It was only ever another adversary to me. But to Dean. Dean and Samson had a history going way back. And something happened between them? Dean never admitted anything, but yeah. Yeah, there was some kind of strife. Something personal to their rally rivalry. When Samson came first, Dean got hot and bothered. Right. So this isn't business as usual. For you, this isn't about winning. That's right. Fuck winning. I want Samson dead. And this is your best plan for vengeance. Folks die on the track all the time. Won't seem unusual at all. Another day at the races, in line with the rules. And if Samson doesn't show for the race, what then? <laughs> He'd never miss a chance to puff out his chest. He'll race. Circuit champ last year. No way he'll let that go, not try to repeat. And me? Guess you want my help to zero him. Killing Samson matters more than taking first. We have to make a choice. Sorry I lied to you, V. It means a lot to you, this. So yeah, let's bury the bastard. <laughs> Thank you. This... See you for the final? Alright. So that's done. What's here? I'm sorry. Over the edge. Okay, collect the gift from Marty's crew with Murmar L. Captain Reyes. Where? Oh, here. David's jacket. A jacket for a true edge runner belonged once to David Martinez and before that his mother Gloria. Alright, nice. 